A hybrid is a vehicle that tries to maximise efficiency and minimise emissions by combining a propulsion system, usually a standard petrol or diesel engine, with an energy storage system and that's usually an electrical system like a battery. Now there are three kinds of hybrids, there are full hybrids, there are mild hybrids and there are micro hybrids. A full hybrid is perhaps the most familiar, the Toyota Prius is the best example. That is a standard gasoline engine and it has a battery system which is recharged under regenerative braking. That means that you take the energy from the brakes and recharge the battery with it. A full hybrid can operate on either the electrical system or the gasoline system. So if you take a Toyota Prius and you had to accelerate too quickly, you can actually drive around without turning the gasoline engine on. Now a mild hybrid is essentially a standard petrol or diesel engine, but with an oversized starter motor. So the batteries that run the starter motor are recharged, again probably under regenerative braking, and the engine can be turned off when the car stops, let's say at traffic lights, and started very quickly. Again, increasing efficiency and reducing emissions. The micro-hybrid is a little bit different. Essentially, the, the battery, which is still oversized, just runs all the vehicle's electrical systems. And again, you can get some reasonable savings in emissions and efficiency by using this kind of technology. Hybrid technology isn't entirely uncontroversial, however. Hybrids work best in city centre conditions, in heavy traffic when there's lots of stopping and starting. On a long journey on a motorway, for example, the extra weight of the batteries and the added technology can actually decrease efficiency and potentially increase emissions. There's also a question mark over the environmental impact of the manufacture and the disposal of the batteries. But with future improvements in technology, it's certainly fair to say that hybrids will be here to stay.